didn't address that we were supposed to give a toast um, tonight. When we were pregnant with Patrick, we prayed every night that the family raising the person God had chosen for him was raising a godly woman. We prayed that they were raising his soulmate and partner in life to believe in him, love him, and always find the best in him. She should, should be compassionate, caring, and have a beautiful, beautiful spirit. As he grew older, we added a few things to that prayer. We asked that she be grounded <clears throat> in life, faithful, and as stubborn as him, so that she could say, no, that's not a good idea, when he said, hey, y'all, watch this. <laughs> Patrick has always been our most active, adventurous, fun-loving child. He always tells it like it is, and even though he's Southern, he doesn't have the ability to sugarcoat anything. <laughs> he is hardworking and has created a family with Shar. To say that we are proud of him is an understatement. He's traveled a long road, and he's traveled it well. Shar has been this person. She's supportive, adventurous, funny, and loves him. She is his soulmate and partner in this crazy thing we call life. As we watch them dance, laugh, and figure out life, we realize that she completes him. We knew it was meant to be when he moved across country to be with her. No one in our family has ever gone that far. <clears throat> has ever moved that far. <laughs> I never knew if Pat listened to me until he was about 16 and at a party that was raided. He left his girlfriend at the time on a fence. As she hollered at him to come back, he said, no, my mother will kill me if I get arrested. Char, he would never leave you. You are a wonderful role model for Maria and you fit into our crazy family. That's a pretty difficult job to do. <laughs> Not only is she beautiful on the outside, she's as beautiful on the inside. We have enjoyed meeting all of her friends and family and look forward to many more joyous occasions. I want to thank you and Kevin Lena for raising her. She's fabulous, you've done a wonderful job. And she's everything we ever prayed for. Our advice to you as newlyweds is to always meet in the middle, whether that's in an argument or in the middle of the bed. <laughs> Marriage is the hardest but most rewarding job you will ever have. Without darkness, we don't know joy. So dance, love, sing, and be happy. Welcome to our family. We are blessed to call you our daughter. We love you, and our wish is that you will always be as happy and in love today, and love as you are today. Patrick, you have given us the great, you've been given the greatest gift that any man has ever given, the gift of her heart. Treat it with care and love. As your parent, we are proud of the man you are and love both of you. The greatest privilege of parenting is to have God answer your prayers for your children. Amen. Tonight, we want to thank God for answering ours by blessing Patrick and Charlene. We love you. Patrick, you know, of course, we love you. And uh, you're a great couple. And we thank you all of you for being here and supporting him. Again, thank you. We love you. Let's give a toast to him. Cheers. Cheers. All right, folks, and with that, it is time.